Hey everybody, I'm Wildman Wes, and welcome to a long-awaited 2022 edition of Game Central Station. It has been a long, long time since we have played a video game on this channel. So today, I decided to do something a little bit different than we've done before. So, video games have had a lot of adaptations, mostly in Hollywood. A lot of movies have happened through video games, and one in particular that most people might remember from the 90s is Street Fighter. So. This movie came out from the, <laughs> pretty much, Street Fighter 2, and wasn't really received very well by a lot of people. Going back into retrospective, it's not that bad. It's better than Super Mario Brothers to some, to others, maybe not so much, but hey, it is a little bit better than Mortal Kombat Annihilation, right? <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about what if you take a video game, adapt it into a movie, and then adapt the movie into a video game? Well, most people might remember on this channel a few years ago, we went to Galloping Ghost in Brookfield, Illinois, where I played the arcade version of Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Well, eventually it did get ported to the Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1. So today, without further ado, we are going to be doing Street Fighter, the movie, the game on Sega Saturn. I have not played this yet, I've heard mixed reviews on some of the controls and the music and the graphics, so let's just get started, shall we? <laughs> okay, now we're getting a couple cutscenes from the Street Fighter movie, alright. Liking how they're using uh, the CD quality, <laughs> at least it's not full motion video from Sega CD, so at least they learned their lesson. Getting a feeling that this is, yeah, this is definitely the, this is the trailer just in mute. And they just put the soundtrack in. Okay. I feel like I'm required to watch the entire thing. Street Fighter! Okay, I'm going to turn the audio up because it may be a little bit low just because we are plugged into a VCR, so... Alright, by the looks of things they have a movie battle, street battle, trial battle, and options. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I have a feeling... I've heard some things on the review, um, I've, I've looked at other uh, episodes that people have put out. Movie Battle is basically a story mode where you don't really get to choose who you get to play as. So we're going to go ahead and do Street Battle, just to be on the safe side. And... Let's see what we get. Alright, so here's our fighter select screen. We have Guile, Chun-Li, the Honda, Balrog, DJ, Zangief, Ken, Ryu, <laughs> Sawada, Vega, Kami, Bison, Blanca, and Sagat. I'm just going to go ahead and do my go-to character and just do Ryu. Ah! Ryu versus Kami. I'm going to play a couple, uh, like maybe three different fights, just to see how this turns out. Oh, the joys of load times on CD-based games. Round one, fight! Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, wow, these, these graphics are a little washed out. <laughs> They're like cardboard cutouts, a little bit. Ah! There we go. Still got it. You win. <laughs> Ryu looks like he's trying to hold in a fart. Round two. 
Done. You win. <laughs> His face. His face is. <laughs> I don't remember you looking so happy about anything in a fight. Uh, now we're getting back into loading. All right. So now we're gonna. I'm gonna play as a character that to learn to fight, not to flail. Okay. Okay, I guess this is arcade mode. So I'm only going to do about three you know, fights just to see what happens, or until I lose. Let's just put it that way. Now, one thing I have noticed about the controls is they are a little clunky. Trying to do some of the basic moves are... Okay, I can do that pretty easily. Just that pose, I don't know why it's making me laugh so much. Or it's like he's trying to hold in like a gut Round laugh two. or something. Fight. I feel like I'm hearing like a bird chirping in the background, but... Oh no, there's rats on the ground, okay. See, that's what happens when the graphics are a little washed out, you can barely see anything. I never lose, okay. <laughs> if I lose to Sawada, there's a problem. Versus Sawada. Think so. You win. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm, I'm liking the fact that a lot of the backgrounds in this game are very much 
the, uh, no, the backgrounds no. or the, you know, what? the locations from the movie. So at least they've got that down right. Oh, I was going to say, the music cut out there for a second. Like, that's how long the music was going to last? Alright. You win! So, apparently, I don't know if I can cancel out of this, so I'm going to see if I can try to uh, reset this and see if I can probably play with the different character, because I'll admit I'm trying to get a little bit bored. Alright, so I had to reset the whole game to play as a different character, so I figured maybe I might try to play as someone that I'm not used to playing with, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with, uh... I'm going to go with DJ! Why not? Let's see what happens. Either I'm going to be spamming a lot of moves, or I'm just going to be kind of <laughs> improv whatever I can. Round one! Oh god, they, they really were lazy with this. playing as DJ and not even barely know You win! Perfect! Oh my god. I just... I think the victory poses are better with the... You know, the, the pixelated versions instead of the, the live-action actors and actresses. Fight. Okay. Do something here. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna go in. Okay. Yeah, take that. You win. paid Miguel Nunez to more for doing the Maraca shake there. That is too funny. <laughs> I can't even, folks. I can't. This is just... Maybe you should... I want to ask the developers what they were thinking when they were writing these, you know, victory you know, insults. This is just... <laughs> I don't get it. Same directed. You win. <laughs> you have to do a drinking game now. Any anytime you laugh on a victory pose, you drink. You 
win. Okay. Now keep in mind, I have not fixed the uh, options on this at the difficulty. I put this on normal, you know, whatever medium it is, like default. So, how I've beaten two people with DJ, not really even learning all their moves is, you know, I'm more than a match for... Oh, gosh. I think the game is a lot cheesier than the movie at this point. Next fight! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I stand corrected, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm starting to notice the blue screen behind everybody. This is basically from the recordings from when they were getting their, their motion capture done. I'm, I'm loving this. In a bad way. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for that, I know you're about to... What? You gonna do your electricity or what? You win! There we go. I was waiting for it. Sorry. I gotta see exactly. I'm gonna end it on this one. I just gotta see exactly what he says. If you want trouble, bring it on. Well, I know what trouble affects Miguel Nunez from Friday the 13th, Part 5. Must be them damn enchiladas. Alright, so. In conclusion, this game is not horrible. The graphics, yeah, they're a little washed out from being a port of the arcade version itself. And the controls, yeah, like I said, a little clunky, but once you... It's a lot to get used to. I mean, because a lot of people that have probably played the Street Fighter games are pretty well in tune with the special moves and the, uh, the hyper moves and whatnot. So yeah, with the control setup as it is, it's not the greatest. But... In conclusion, I don't mind it. I might actually do a gameplay or a long play of the movie mode, see what happens. Other than that, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you don't agree with a lot of things I said, or, you know, maybe you think that this game deserves a little more credit, you can leave a thumbs down. I totally understand. Other than that, make sure you share on social media, but most importantly, push that little red button. And don't forget to ring the bell for instant notifications. I'm really happy that we're going to be getting back on track with some Game Central stations. We've got a couple more lined up in the near future. If there's anything you want to see on this channel, we do have a comment section below. Leave a request. We'll be sure to get to it as quick as possible and leave you a shout out in the process. Until then, I'm Wildman West, and we will see you next time on Game Central Station. Take care.